blank first. It'll be less stress on the tape. Just remember, if you hear a ripping sound, run really fast for the other side. Thanks for nothing. Good luck. Thanks. Here we go. Nearly 200 rolls of duct tape, a 50-foot drop, and one 175-pound Mythbuster. All for the glory. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Oh. Hey, I don't mind saying I'm kind of freaked out. Oh. All right, it feels pretty solid, and it's not hard for me to stay upright. The handles are working just great. My heart's beating about 175 times a minute, though. Whoa. People walk on bridges like this every day? This is terrifying. Nearing the middle of the bridge, he enters the real danger zone. This is where the duct tape's most likely to fail and flip at him into thin air. I'm passing halfway. So... I've passed the danger of turtling. Oh, dude, this is rough. You got about 10 feet to go. Oh, now it feels much more stable. Now I feel okay. Two and a half minutes after starting out, Adam sets foot on solid ground. Hey, good to see you. <laughs> oh, land feels good. Good land, good solid ground. It's another world first. He's just crossed a hundred foot chasm on a bridge made of duct tape. Or maybe, is it a bug in a spider web? That really is quite hairy. A third of the way across, and Jamie's struggling to maintain his balance. This wiggling around is kind of something I don't want to be doing. Whoa. There's more ripped tape. Meanwhile, Jamie's trapped in a nightmare. He's finding out the hard way that one of duct tape's main features, its elasticity, isn't so great when you're 50 feet off the ground. Every movement triggers more vibration. Oh. It's taking all his strength just to stay upright. I'm gonna sit here and rest a second. Okay. Despite pre-stretching, the tape's losing tension, and he hasn't even made it to the perilous midpoint. Bang, you passed the halfway point. <laughs> Is that all? It feels like I've been going for a mile. I don't mind saying I'm hyperventilating. The bridge is so unstable, he must inch his way to safety. It's taken him four times longer than Adam, but Jamie finally makes it back to terra firma. Ladies and gentlemen, they are made of brass. James Heineman, congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely awful. <laughs> That's really saying something, given the other fears he's faced in the name of Mythbusting.